we are talking all about decluttering. There are a few things at the top of my list that I really want to start organizing and sorting through and I thought I would share them with you to inspire you, get us all up feeling a little bit motivated and to try and tackle those things that sometimes we just neglect, especially as we're going into the rest of the year. There are a few things that I wanna get on top of so that I can start 2024 feeling really fresh and organized and just in the best way possible. So I'm gonna share those things with you today. The first thing at the top of my list was my bathroom cupboards and I have already done this. I did this in my last cleaning video, so we'll have that link down below, but come to the bathroom and let me show you what I'm talking about. This is my bathroom sink. Before I organized, there were so many products on here. I do actually need to get in and do another clean because I'm starting to get toothpaste residue on my tap. But all I have on my sink includes a candle, a little fake plant from Kmart, my toothbrush, and then a little container for my teeth aligners. And that's it. And it has managed to stay this clean and organized since I redid the drawers. So these are the two drawers. The top one here, I have mostly products. I did go through this in in my last cleaning video, but I have tampons and feminine hygiene products at the back there. I have some skincare, some cotton pads, more skincare, a little bit first aidy, more skincare, deodorant, teeth related items, and skincare and hair care in this part of the drawer. And then in the bottom drawer, I have some miscellaneous stuff that I think belongs to my brothers for whenever they come and visit. Spare toothbrushes and that kind of stuff. This is my miscellaneous drawer that has like the toothbrush charger, a spare deodorant, nail polish, and an extra brush head for this hair tool here. I have my three hair tools and then also my contact lenses at the end there. And ever since doing that, it has just remained so much more neat and organized in here. Following on from the bathroom and sticking to beauty type products, I have have my little makeup collection over here and my makeup collection is quite small or at least I feel it's small I tend to try to stick to sort of one of each product but I will show you what's going on right here on my dresser I have some new makeup storage and again I just did this the other day I have this fabulous little drawer set that I got off Amazon and this clear acrylic container to hold my brushes I over the last couple of years have very much simplified my brush collection I just have the brushes that I need and they do you really need to be washed, so please excuse them. But this is my makeup collection. I try to keep everything pretty minimal. Now's a good chance to get rid of any lipsticks or any lip products that you just don't use. Also, check the expiry on some of your products because now's a good chance to get rid of anything that has expired. So I've got one mascara, one brow product, one bronzer, one eyeliner, and an eyelash curler. The next thing I know I need to get rid of, and yes, I've had some comments about this, is I need to get rid of this eyeshadow palette. It is broken. Get rid of any Anything that is broken, anything that is smashed. Look how many eyeshadows are missing because I've dropped it. I've also basically used this one. This one is on its way out. I do need to replace it, but when I replace it, I am 100% getting rid of it because it is messy and it just isn't doing its job anymore and I don't need it. So have a look through your makeup and see if you can simplify it and just get rid of things that you don't use. So while I'm over here, I have all of my accessories in this part of my bedroom. I have my jewelry on this side and I have my handbags and my shoes and those kinds of things in the wardrobe. I don't need to declutter anything from my wardrobe because I have been living out of a suitcase this year and the majority of my belongings are in a storage locker in Toronto. So one day when I empty that storage locker and I have my own place again, I will be able to sort through all of those things and figure out what type of shoes and bags and things that I will use and that I won't use and I can go through them and get rid of anything that just isn't something I feel is an essential. Right now though, the, the two pairs of sandals, the two pairs of heels and the three handbags I have are considered essential to me, so I am definitely keeping those. This is my little jewelry collection over here. I have this dish with one pair of earrings that are some of my favorite. And then I have this little travel case that has all of my essentials. I love everything in here, although I do think I have one necklace. Actually, no, I put it into my storage locker in Toronto. So I did already declutter that. Never mind. I should probably get rid of it, but it had more of a sentimental value rather than me actually wanting to wear it. Anyway, point is I have this great little storage thing that I was going to organize, but my mom came in the other day and she did it for me, which is so nice. She just wanted to organize something. So she put all of my jewelry into their little compartments. This thing is fabulous. It's from Amazon. I will have it linked down below. It is perfect for travel, but it's also kind of nice here as well. Keeps everything separated and neat and organized. My bracelets and necklaces do not get tangled. I do also have a couple of pieces up here. I have one pair of sunglasses and one pair of seeing glasses. Now would be a good chance to get rid of any glasses that are scratched, unwearable, 
ones that you just don't see yourself repairing either. I have one watch and one bracelet, and then I do have a couple of earrings down here. These earrings have not been traveling with me. They've been here kind of in storage. I'm a little uncertain on them, but now's a good chance to start thinking about those and whether I should keep them and if I'm gonna wear them or whether I should give them on to a new home. Following on from my beauty bathroom cosmetics, yeah. Yes, of course, it's already overflowing. Every time I pull it out of the cupboard, it just falls down. This is my nail collection. This container is so heavy. During the pandemic, I started doing my nails myself and I love that I do my nails myself, but my collection is pure chaos. As you can see, this is not functional at all. These are drill head pieces. I have packaging that things have come in. Used nail files. So we're gonna get rid of any used nail files that I can no longer use. Any old nail polishes or things that are no longer of any use. Clean out any of the products. And you know what? Get a better storage and organization system because why do I have an Australian slash, you know, rest of the world adapter? This needs to go into my electronics box and I don't know why it's in here. So there's a lot of things in here. I need to get through this chaos and organize it so it's not so insane every time I want to touch up my nails or when I want to do a fresh set. And the last part while I'm in this section of my room is my wardrobe. Now is a really great opportunity to reorganize and declutter your wardrobe, especially with the change of season that we've all gone into, regardless of whether you've gone into spring or autumn. It's a good idea to reevaluate all the pieces from your previous season, what you were and weren't wearing, and think about what you may and may not wear again the next season and get rid of and keep the things accordingly. As I said before, this is basically my entire wardrobe right now. I've been living out of a suitcase. The majority of my stuff is in storage in Toronto. So one day when I get it back out of storage, I can go through all of those things. However, I do have this box. Now this is a mix of clothes. And as I can see some accessories, I believe I have a belt just here and a little headband headpiece. That's probably from some events that I've gone to, but this is a box of stuff that never really made it to Toronto with me. It didn't hold enough value to put in my suitcase whenever I went back and it's been sitting here for the last couple of years and it's now time for me to finally sort through it. Do I really need these pieces if I haven't even thought about them for the last couple of years? So this has been my spare clothing box. I will keep some pieces here because I think it's important for me to always have some stuff at my mum's. And as you can see, this is an entire tub. Like this is taking up a lot of space, right? I have it on the floor in my room because it's not fitting in the cupboard. It's a good idea to get rid of any clothes that are just taking up space and then you can free up that room to be able to store and organize other things. I am done with this part of my room. Let's move on to the office desk space of things and I'm talking in particular cables and electronic things. I feel like this is a very very annoying topic. We all have way too many cables but just come with me and I'll show you what we're talking about. This is a little two drawer desk organizer I got from Officeworks many many years ago and it's a disaster. So I have a mix of things between stationary and electronic things. I got memory cards, USBs that I can't seem to connect to my computer right now so does that mean I get rid of them? If I can't even connect them to my computer. I have connector cables, cables that I don't even know what this goes to. I have accessories for all kinds of things of my device. That's a lens, like that's my camera lens cap. Up the top here, it's even worse. I have more cables and I just need to figure out some sort of organization system and get rid of any excess cables that I just don't need. While I'm here though, I have another thing that needs to be organized and that's my creative and artistic things. I have paint brushes. I have paint right down there at the bottom. I have stickers that are supposed to go in my planners. I have a whole pencil case full of pencils here. I also have my paints and this new acrylic container that I am storing them in, which that's fine for now, but I just can't even, like I can't close these drawers and it's just become a complete disaster. So we're gonna be doing cable and electronic decluttering and then also arts and crafts and getting rid of any of these pieces that I just know are like causing such chaos in here. Continuing on with the office and desk related stuff, I'm talking notepads, notebooks, all that kind of stuff. I love them and I have so many of them because I love them so much. When it comes to my journals, which are these two, this is my 2023 and 2022, my 20, 
1, 20, and 19 are all in storage in Toronto, so they're safe. But I keep my journals because I actually like to look back over them and kind of see where I was a year ago. I've been trying to go back to October last year, and you know what? I didn't write anything in October last year, so I have no comparison to how different my life is from a year ago, which is kind of annoying. This is why I try to journal as much as I can, because it's so nice to see how far you've come when you can look back. So I keep my journals. These ones are very, very important to me. But then I also end up with a lot of desk pads or notebooks. And so this notebook has been my daily to-do list at the moment. I've been loving it. Like I change the way I plan all the time. I need to keep it interesting and different. So I swap it out all the time. And right now this notebook is my daily to-do list, but I have only just a teeny, teeny little bit left. And once it's done, I'm going to need to get rid of this notebook. It is not worth me keeping it because it is full of the most random, just day-to-day -day tasks, shopping lists, things that don't really hold any value and it's important to get rid of them. Otherwise, I would be able to fill this entire room with notebooks. So pick and choose what it is that you wanna keep, things that have value, my journals have value, my daily to-do lists don't really have value. So I tend to shred them or in the case of like we have a wood fire, I can burn them if I want to, but I do need to clear out some of the notebooks and the notepads because I end up with too many and then it's just extra clutter on my desk or I don't have anywhere to store them and it's important to get rid of it and consolidate it. Next up, we're talking computers, laptops, desktops, whatever type of device you have, could be an iPad. I would say phone, but we're gonna talk about the phone in a second. My computer is such a mess. I have the worst habit of just saving things to my downloads folder and then never dealing with them. And then I also just screenshot things and then my desktop is a complete mess. And it's been on my to-do list for a while. It's a habit that I would like to implement every month maybe every other month to go through and start organizing my files, to delete things that I don't need, delete any duplicates, and then just try and create some sort of better organizational system rather than having to scroll through my downloads folder to find things, which becomes annoying. And then I re-download things and then I have a million copies of them. So digital declutter. Let's get our laptops and our devices more organized. And I'd like to, as I said, make it a habit and try and carry it into 2024. And the last one is the phone device. I have a lot of stuff I need to declutter. So we're talking apps, any apps that you don't use, like old games, just, I have a double up on some apps. Like, you know when apps get old and they like discontinue them, you need to delete them. Like Etsy has done that with a number of things. The McDonald's app has done that as well, where they've like consolidated their apps and they get rid of old ones. And then I need to get rid of the old ones. Another thing that I need to do that I found out just a couple of days ago is I need to actually start deleting photos and videos. Apparently I don't have that much space left, which I've never had as a problem before. But over the last year, I have been filming a lot more on my phone when I'm out and about which means I now have all these extra videos that I don't really need on my phone. So I'm going to have to start clearing them off. I've also started creating albums on my phone as well to make it so much easier to find things. I did a post on my Instagram the other day that was a bit of a throwback to all the different bedrooms I've styled over the years. And in order for me to get those photos, I needed to create an album to keep them all together so I knew where they were. And I've just been doing that to make things so much easier for myself. And also I like to organize and style my phone background. This is my current phone background. It's green, of course. And I will have a link down below to these little packs that you can purchase. I've got a couple of different color styles if you want to style up your phone and make it look really cool. But I like to have an organized phone. It makes me feel happy, especially as it's a device that is kind of attached to me and I use it every single day and all the time. So those are the few things that I need to declutter. They're at the top of my list. They're things that I want to work on between now and the end of the year. Please let me know some of the things that you are going to be working on and declutter cluttering and organizing. I'm always looking for inspiration and ideas. So please share them with me and I hope you've enjoyed this video and I'll see you in my next one.